I'm going to talk about rhythm changes and I'm going to give you specific exercises I do on a daily basis to solo and master this form. The reason it is so important is because the form structure and the harmonic progression are being used not only in jazz but in a lot of other styles of music. The ability to solo over the changes will unlock a lot of freedom and creativity in jazz and beyond. If you understand hear the progression and able to solo on this form, that means you can solo on a lot of other forms freely. The two ways we're going to examine rhythm change is one, zooming in, two, zooming out. By zooming in, we'll articulate each specific change and chord. When I say changes, I mean what change between one chord and the next. Next, we'll be zooming out and articulating one big center. So instead of thinking about 16 chords, we'll think about one big chord. We'll do that using harmonic devices that we'll talk about ASAP. In the next couple of weeks, I'll create more content like this. If you like it, please subscribe, please leave a comment and let me know what subject I should do next. And also if you can turn on the bell notifications. Thanks. So before we dive into the exercises, which I actually love and practice myself every day, let's talk for a second about what Rhythm Changes actually is. Rhythm Changes is an A-A-B-A -A -A form, so if you know the A section, you actually know 75% of the song. The B section is a sequence of dominance, so I'm not going to talk about that right now, and we're going to focus on the A section. So if you look at rhythm changes, the main thing that actually is happening in the A section is that we're going from the one chord to the four chord and oftentimes to the four minor and back to home base. The ability to find different routes going from the one to the four chord are what we basically refer to as reharmonization or playing line cliches from the jazz vocabulary. I'll be using these sets of changes for our conversation in B flat rhythm changes and you can also download that in the link below. Exercise one, play one, three, five over the form in eight tones. Map each area separately and play the triads. Exercise two, seven chords, one, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. Three, five, seven, so seven chords with chromatic notes to target the chord tones. We can use a chromatic note to target the chord tone on beat one or play a chromatic note on beat one to suspend the resolution in an eighth note or two. Composing an A section that is very true to the changes. Treating that as a classical etude so you can practice it in different tempos, different keys and different areas on the guitar. This is a very strong way to memorize the sound colors and tensions of those chords. Exercise 5. Putting the metronome between 40 to 70 BPM and playing 60 notes over the form. Now that 
we've done the five zoomed in exercises, we're gonna move to the three very important zoomed out exercises. Remember that by zooming out, I mean seeing the form in a more general way and not specific to the chord progression. Let's move on to the first exercise. Exercise one, we'll take different pentatonic centers like D minor, F minor, G minor, and C minor. Each one of the different pentatonic centers will give us a cool different sets of extensions and tensions that will be mostly correct. Here is D minor. Exercise two, take one of the degrees in B flat major scale and target your whole solo toward that degree. For example, I'll take G minor as my center and then I'll target all my lines toward G minor. I'll use progressions like A half diminished, D7, maybe a little bit of B flat. I'll choose everything in the soundscape of G minor. <laughs> Exercise three, only think about F7 throughout the whole eight bars. So everything you're playing is one big F7. Remember the articulation, dynamic and rhythm are a big part of making these phrases sound within the style. Our harmonic and melodic explorations are great, but remember it's very, very important to transcribe the master and get as close as possible to the music. so much for listening guys i hope this was interesting and informative if you like it please subscribe please drop me a comment and tell me if you have any questions or are there a subject that you want me to talk about next and i'll see you guys next week peace